What's up, Soil Brothers and Soil Sisters? Soil family. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got another adventure with the bees. All right. So we're doing something else today, new, with our bees. <laughs> new. new. <laughs> right, but hold up. Hold up. I got stung today, y'all, in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> my first time, not my first time being stung, mm -hmm. but my first time. By one of the honeybees. By the honeybee. I was like, oh, hit me in the head. <laughs> okay, now. So today we went down and we picked up a nuke. Now, y'all remember in the past we did purchase a couple of packages, but this is our very first time buying a nuke. So we're going to go ahead and install the nuke today, right? Yeah. So the, the thing is, and we'll show y'all the nuke. Um, we have them in the back of the car. The car is running as with the AC full blast because they have to stay cool until they come out of this box, right? Yeah, having them cool will actually um, calm them down just a little bit so they won't be as active. Yeah. We are putting them in a different location than what we have for our other bees. So we're going to try that out and see how that works. And... Are you putting them in a bee box that you built or are we doing a different? So we did get like a, I guess, an artificial <laughs> flow hive. It's a flow hive, but it's not made from flow yeah. hive. <laughs> so supposedly it does the same thing. Um, we don't know. We will actually um, advise you on that once we try it out, but we're going to go ahead and put this more in the front yard while our other bees are in the backyard. So we're going to go ahead and get that done, right? Spread the love. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So this is our front yard. Bobby was trying to figure out where to put it. So I think he got a good spot. So we're going to go. And we have a lot of trees out here. Um, uh, watermelon patch is here behind us. Passion fruit, figs, citrus, all that good stuff. So, we'll wait for him to pop the back. The boy is out here. <laughs> oh, what's up? So, what we did today was we picked up a nuke, which is here with the blue top. We um we are members of the Coastal Empire um, Beekeeping Association, which you should always check in your um, city or town about a uh, beekeeping association. And we were able to go ahead and let me show you one of these frames. Our frames we went on and wax put um what is it called bee wax bees wax <laughs> on all of our frames through our beekeeping club which is great you know they help each other give you information all that good stuff all right so guys I'm so we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up it is heavy how much you think this thing weighs it weighs a little bit i didn't even hold it like myself but so since we already got, um, so it should be five frames in here. We're gonna go ahead and remove five frames. And this is my very first time opening up one of these boxes, so I have no idea what to expect. Wow, that is a lot of bees. There's an easy way to do this. So do you have to find the queen um, too while you're doing it? <laughs> I'm going to try to go ahead and just put all of them in there. So 
I will glance just to see if I can see him. See her? There she go right there. You see her? At mine? the bottom? No, she is oh, not. Oh, I mine. see her. Yep, so, so let me see. we know the queen is here. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and stick her in the box. Well, that's good. You saw her on the first frame. That was lucky. And she is laying very well because there's a lot of brood. They were working. And they only been in here about 24 hours or so, right? And that what well, in this uh, box, mm -hmm. and they have been working. These are the hardest workers in the world, y'all. Yeah. These are the other two newts. That's not full, but it just got a few bees that have tons of pollen on them. These were the forages. Let me see if that can So what are those um, yellow things on their legs called the... That's the pollen pack. Pollen packet. All right, guys. So we we do have the nuke going. Um, we already had the nuke installed, and the bees are flying. But because of the pheromones from the bees, they'll find their way into the hive. There's really no bees around to co compete with them. There's no way else for them to really just go. They'll start coming out doing orientation flights so they can learn the location of their new home. And they will start doing their thing. Going out and foraging for nectar and honey and growing. So we're hoping to get some honey mm -hmm. sometime soon. I'm here for the honey. Well, that's going to be pretty much it for right now. Alright fam, so it's been exactly one week since we installed our nuke into our box in our front yard and I've been fighting all week <laughs> not to go in there but I definitely want to go in there today to see exactly what they've been doing I don't know whether I need to add another box or they fine I don't know if they've been collecting enough food to sustain themselves so I'm gonna go and find that out 
to a day. And if I can find the queen, which and I did see her the last time, I'm going to go ahead and try to mark her today. My very first time trying to mark a queen. All right? So, let's go. All right, fam. So, you knew I had uh, five frames of bees. I did have a lot of brood. And... Right now, we're going to see if anything has changed. Okay, so, we do have a lot of bees, still. <laughs> As far as I can tell, I don't see no significant change in the work. Alright, so they have not drawn out any of the brand new frames as of yet. Well, they hadn't drawn out that one, so let's see. Nothing. Babe, try to keep her out for the queen for me. If you can see, if you can spot her, let me know. Ah, they have done some work on this one. Mm -hmm. So this is a brand new frame. Hold it down, babe, so it can be in the camera. Okay. They have drawing some of this frame out uh, they like they got a little bit of nectar a little bit of pollen in it but nothing significant oh that's a heavy frame a lot frame. of pollen in there a lot of pollen pockets <laughs> so let's see if I can see the queen they have gathered up a lot of resources. This frame is extremely heavy. Do you see the queen? No, not on this side. So let's check the other side. And there's a lot of pollen on this side. Some nectar. Some brood. So, our search for the queen continues. <laughs> That's from the hearing another blow coming through here. Who that? That old man that lived beside. We, they busy. Yeah. So, um, we do have a lot of pollen, some nectar. Um, it seems like as they as they hatch they're filling it up with nectar and i do see some new eggs can you see them mm -hmm. so the queen is near hopefully she's definitely doing some work mm -hmm. so a lot of bees on the side too so i couldn't see them wait a minute now mm. <laughs> Freshly laid eggs in this one also. That wasn't her that went over there on the other side. Uh -huh. Where? Mm -hmm. Say you saw. <laughs>
little something. Move it around so you can see the other um, side too. I zoomed in some so you can see in there. So this so shiny in the corner is nectar, yeah. right? And the larvae is a little magnet looking. Come up. Come up to the camera. Splash on. Now you can see the little magnets in there. So those are newly laid. Ooh, ooh, baby. Laid. Not so bad. Zoom in. The bigger ones are the older, so the smaller they are, the younger they are. So we have not run into the queen as of yet, and we could have missed her, but. <laughs> they want that back, that cell back into her. They move so fast. You gotta be moving the kid. There she go right there. So there's the queen. Whoa. What you need to do? Give me this half to So, I want to zoom in. She came all the way on the other side. <laughs> she on the run. That's her up there. See ya. Try to mock her. Oh, he's gone. Come on, little baby. She like, wait a minute, missed it. Where did he go? Where she go? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, guys, you do not want to cooperate with me. She is definitely on the run. <laughs> I got her. Got her. It was like chasing a chicken, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to move the camera so we can see what you're doing up here. So guys, I know a lot of people pick the queen up with their fingers and they mark her in that fashion. Um, I am not comfortable enough to do that and I don't want to hurt her. Babe, you got to hold it over this way some. So we can see. So all I'm doing is putting her up towards the top. First, let me go ahead and get the marker prepared. That's that up. I was going to say that's acrylic, you got to hold it for a minute. I don't know if those are the ones you need to shake up for. There you go. I 
lugar não é São Leste So guys, um, what I'm going to attempt to do is to gently hold her in one spot I'm being extra careful because, like I said, this is my very first time and I don't want to screw this up. And this thing is pretty loose, so it's actually going to be pretty easy to smash her. And I don't want to do that. But I do want her in a position to, there we go. So hopefully I can keep her right there. And marker. Good job, babe. Good job. So now she is marked and she is give her a couple of minutes to dry off. Dry. <laughs> we're going to put her back. Cut this mother. Right, stand up. Hey, watch the glue. Okay. So there she goes. Can you see? Yep. <laughs> she said it's too much light up there. Come to the light, Caroline. And Check and see what else they have done before we put everything back together. This is a brand new frame, which um, look like they're working on. Um, she has it laid out pretty good, right? Because can you see the eggs in there? Let me hold on. Let me go. So 
Zoom in real tight. I'm zoomed in. I just, yeah, I can see him. You see him in the camera? You gotta hold it, tip it from the bottom a little bit. Yeah, like that. So you can see the eggs. They like little rice. Good job, good job. Okay, so it looks like they can go a little bit before they actually need to um, get another get a box. So we have approximately six frames of these. How many frames before you add one? Eight? Mm, uh, seven to eight. Seven to eight. All right, fam. So they look like they're doing pretty well. I'm going to leave them just like they are for now because it, they got some old growing to do in this particular box before they will actually need another one. So um, we have our queen marked. My very first time. Y'all saw it. It wasn't pretty, but it got done. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey guys. It was successful because she's still alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With that being said, y'all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified when we release another video. Till the next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>